Hi there. I thought I would show you how to customize Lubuntu uh, from its original form into something like this. Um, what's most significant, of course, is your wallpaper, uh, which isn't a hard thing to do, but when you add in uh, your icons, as I have here and over here, um, and also I made the top uh, panel tra semi-transparent, I took it from the bottom and moved it to the top. Um, even the cursor itself is uh, a little larger, uh, which to me makes it easier to uh, to actually find or see when you're looking for your cursor. So um, I'll try to show you the things I've done and in the show notes, I'll show links to the various sources uh, to what I've done here as well. So I'll start with the most basic thing and that is uh, the wallpaper right-clicking, left-clicking, uh, going into your wallpaper, uh, I don't know if it's called a sub-menu, um, it'll lead you to the default location of where the wallpapers are. And what I've done is uh, rerouted the pathway to uh, pictures, and then I created a sub-folder uh, uh, listed as wallpapers, or named wallpapers, and then I put my various wallpapers inside that folder. Um, and in terms of the sources, some of the best uh, wallpaper that I've found recently has been on Wallhaven, um, uh, what's the other one, Interface Lift, and I, there are HDR uh, um, wallpapers as well, which are really can be very impressive to see as well, and I may have one here to show you as at, at some point. Um, anyway, that's how you would... Uh, install your your uh, wallpaper um well and i may even let's just change it to i'll change it to the hdr open and that's an hdr wallpaper and it it's quite quite attractive um as for the icons uh these are from chalet os you can download download them separately from chalet uh at their website um and i what i've done is enabled um a total of three panels. The primary one at the top, on to the left are my uh, utility apps, and on the bottom uh, my primary apps. And I just enabled the the uh, panels through Lubuntu. Um, there was no need to install Plank um, unless you want additional eye candy. I find these useful, uh, plenty useful in, in their own right, so uh, I left those uh, enabled. Um, uh, what else? Uh, okay, how to uh, do the transparency of the panel. You would right-click on the panel, left-click panel settings, go into the appearance tab. Uh, normally, I think it would be a uh, system theme would be enabled, and it actually would look like that since I'm using a dark theme. Um, but what I've done is you click the solid color with opacity, uh, click on the little box next to it, um, these six zeros represent black, I believe, and the slider is the level of transparency. So uh, these are the things or little tweaks you can do as well. Um, and then if you want to enlarge or shrink the clock icon itself, or uh, font, I should say, um, that would be here. But I believe even when you increase this, uh, let's try it. If I go up, yeah, it will enlarge the fonts in here as well. So you want to try to match it somewhat to the size of your uh, of your panel. Um, if you go too large, it'll you know it'll blow up beyond the size of your panel. So just incrementally make changes, uh, see what works, what doesn't, and whatever you like for the most part. Um, and uh, that's that. As for these little, um, I added these two little menu icons that I, I found a, a PNG. There's JPEG, there's PNG, uh, different uh, file format um, icons or images. And uh, I found these on, uh, I think on Google. And, um, and how you would install these is that you would right click on the, the default menu that you normally have go to menu settings, left click, go to browse, 
and this would come up with the default location. You'll reroute it to wherever you want to uh, add your own icon uh, logos, I should say. And so mine are under pictures, but I under here I put icon logos, and then I've made the changes here. Click, hit OK, and then you end up with this particular uh, menu icon, which I find particularly attractive, as well as the uh, Lubuntu one here on the left. Uh, they're both both represent the same menu structure or menu um, uh, layout. It's just a, a duplicate. Um, so there's that. Um, in terms of changing the mouse cursor, I went into, um, I believe I went into, um, if I can find it, um, Synaptic. Put in your password. Uh, once it loads, um, you may want to reload it. Sometimes it doesn't load properly. It may be your internet connection or there may be something that may slow it down. So I sometimes hit reload. Make sure you're in the all column. Uh, click search. And in, for this instance, we're looking for breeze. There breeze um, it's a breeze icon cursor, I believe, or breeze. Let's see how it comes up. Breeze cursor theme, I'm sorry. Um, here you just would click and enable it. And I believe upon uh, installing, you may need to reboot it. Uh, and it should just come up with the new theme. Uh, and I think it also, I'm not sure if it's automatically white or black. Uh, and I'm not sure if I made a change at the moment. I can't remember where I made that change or unless it just automatically went to white. I'm not sure. Um, but these are ideas to give you. Uh, the key is to experiment as much as you can. Um, that's how you learn and that's how I learned uh, at this point. So uh, anybody can do this. It's just uh, tinkering and taking the time if you're patient and are willing to explore. Um, I think that's it for now and um, thanks for watching.